Greetings. Let's talk for a few minutes about MLA formatting. MLA stands for Modern Language Association. And the reason this formatting is called that is because it's put out by that organization, puts together a guide that contains a couple hundred pages about formatting a document and documenting sources within an essay. MLA is used by humanities related courses including English and composition. Always check with your professor, however, for his or her preferred style, regardless of the course that you're in. Here we are using Microsoft Word 2010 to affect MLA formatting. And the first thing we want to do is to be sure the document has one inch margins all the way around. Often by default in Microsoft Word, there are one inch margins. But let's double check by going to Page Layout, and clicking on margins. Here we can see yes we already have one inch margins but if we didn't we would click here. Next let's be sure we're using the proper font. According to MLA 7th edition, the most current edition, you can use any font as long as it's legible and the reader can depict regular font from italic type styles. The font size should be 12 points. So here we are using Arial 12. After that let's go ahead and put our headings on the paper. To do this we start in the top left corner with the writer's name. Then we move our mouse over to the spacing icon and choose 2.0 because the whole paper should be double spaced. Following that, we hit enter one time after the writer's name and we type the name of the professor. We hit enter again, we type the name of the course. We hit enter one more time, we type the date in military style. Day, month, year. After creating the heading we want to include the title which goes in the middle of the page. So we hit enter one more time after typing the date and then we click on the center alignment icon right here. In the middle we type a unique title. Now note that your title should be creative, not persuasive essay or essay number one. Also note that it is the same font, no bold, no underlining, no quotation marks that is used within the rest of the paper. One more step in MLA formatting is to include the page number in the top right corner of the paper. We can easily do this and ensure that every page has a corresponding page number by using the pagination feature in Microsoft Word. First we double click in the header. Then we note that this extra tab opens up. And in that tab we click on page number, top of page, plain number three we can see that the page number appears here. Then in front of the page number we put our last name followed by a space. To move out of the header you just double click back in the regular part of the document. The final thing we want to do regarding MLA formatting is to take care of formatting our paragraphs. Let's move our mouse down here and click enter one more time after the center and make sure that it is aligned left and we start to type our paragraph with an indentation mark or indent. The indent, indent should be half an inch or five spaces. Do not hit the space bar five times, rather use the tab key. 
then you start to type. As it says here, you will note that when moving to the second line, Microsoft Word automatically wraps back around. Okay, so we've learned about setting up margins, choosing fonts, creating headings and titles, inserting page numbers, and indenting the paragraph. That's all you need to know for formatting your essay for now, so happy writing!